So, I'm going to have to ask you to stop moving or I will shoot you. You're not going to listen to me, are you? Okay, no problem. Warning, this video contains graphic violence, strong language and bad humour and may be suitable for children. Seriously. Hello, one and all, Mickey here. And I've already recorded this mission, but I was using the wrong microphone, or at least the wrong microphone was recording. So, screw it. Thank God this mission isn't that long. There are no objectives that send us miles away to other bases. It's a very simple mission, so might as well do it again. Mission accepted. Something you guys are going to notice, I will be carrying weapons in this mission. I will be going in with a sawn off shotgun and a water pistol. I'm not going to be using them, I've removed all the other items. Unfortunately, Infinite Heaven has been made broken by today's patch, the 6th of October. The poor guy that had made the mod had just finished updating it yesterday, the 5th of October. But today's patch, as I said, has made the mod broken, so I can't use it. So, these weapons are going to be placeholders, I'm not going to be using them in the slightest fashion. I'm not even using them to hold anybody up. For all intents and purposes, they do not exist. I will be picking up a uh, weapon later in the mission that I'll be using. It's very important. But let's get underway. Imagine I'm not carrying any weapons. Deploying. Your target is a Spetsnaz detachment commander. Your orders are to take him out. Skills like his, it'd be a shame to waste him. But I'll leave the method up to you. Boss, make your way to Deshago Calais and eliminate the target. Thank you for telling me how to do my job, Muller. What would I do without you? Probably everything that I already do. So, yeah, let's pretend that I'm not carrying these. And let's go do the first objective. Which I really should have marked on the map before I st uh, before I got off the helicopter. Now I am right on schedule, so I should catch these guys driving past. There you go, that'll do. That will be a few less people to mark when I get to the base. And what? Actually, yeah, let's mark it now anyway. So, the plant you mark want is here. And here it is. First objective done. So I thought of two very easy ways to do this mission. First involves waiting for the next sandstorm to appear or to come by and for you to sneak in or not to sneak in, just run in, knock the guy out and then run back out with him. Thank you, my love. Target should be somewhere in that outpost. Second, here's a Spetsnaz recon detail with him. Shut up. Second way of doing it is to wait for the Spetsnaz commander to walk around this building for no apparent reason. I'm guessing he wants to go for a piss or have a cigarette or something. Analysis complete. And and grab him there. But considering this is Analysis a very, complete. very short mission that Analysis doesn't lead you far complete. out of your way to, and ask you to do anything Plans completely difficult, Analysis complete. I figured let's just charge in. Now, who else am I missing? Analysis One person. Complete. Oh, I'm going to be missing you over here, aren't I? Analysis complete. Anybody else? Oh, one guy. Marker placed. Analysis, marker, 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 removed. Okay, and that's everyone, I think, except for the commander. So let's go tag him as well. Ooh, 
that's a bit too fast. Okay. Not, Analysis not you. complete. There we go. Analysis complete. There you go, Muller, have your speech. Is that it? The one time I'm gonna let you talk, that was it. Okay, well let's sneak in. Quietly move around. Now, alerting anybody inside here probably leads to the mission being failed. Because there are only exits out of this building facing, I don't know, south, southeast. So there's not really a way to sneak out of here. Um, I think I'm going to stop talking now and just fast forward. We're waiting for the Spetsnaz commander to walk in here. So, fast forward. And here we go. Okay, Spetsnaz Commander, come on. Don't worry, it's not a trap. Oh, I lied. So, can you tell me anything I don't know? No, you can't. Bad Spetsnaz Commander, burning down Gosh, villages. I gotta say, it would be a waste to kill him. But putting him to sleep doesn't count as eliminating him. Yes, I know. Just knocking him out. Yes, I know. Okay, so I need his gun. Because remember, my shotgun or water pistol do not count. I'm not using them. They are, for intents and purposes, imaginary. And not to mention, as I said, I do actually really need this gun. I can't complete the, the last bonus objective without it. So right now, we're waiting for that guy to move on. Uh, I think during the daytime... Tag that. During the daytime, that guy in the watchtower does actually patrol around the watchtower and look different directions. But I think at night, he only uses the spotlight, so only faces that direction. Okay, and we're free to move on. And I think at this point we can run! So, two more objectives to do. And we also need to knock this guy out. Very important. So, Spetsnaz Commander. I know we don't know each other very well. But could you do me a favour and knock your friend out for me? Good job, Commander. I, I also need you to be awake. Oops. Ah, there we go. As I mentioned in the past, um... Holding somebody up and having them lie down on the ground with their hands behind their heads um, pins them in place for longer than it does knocking them out. Probably not as long as using tranquilized dots, and this is the second to last bonus objective. The so-called hidden process materials. That's not hidden, and neither is the particular valuable. But yeah, I pin them in place um, by holding them up because if I knocked them out, it would I mean he'd be back up within 30 seconds or probably a lot less than that. I've seen guys get up from being knocked out after no more than 10 seconds or so. So, the last objective. This I think will do. Also, wake up. Okay, so what are you going to do, Commander? You going to talk on the radio? Oh, looks like you're out of range. Go and pick up an imaginary gun made out of sand. Yep, that's not cheating. So, I'm going to have to ask you to stop moving or I will shoot you. You're not going to listen to me, are you? Okay, no problem. And there we go.
first shot always misses. Come on then, Commander. Sorry about that. But, welcome to family. Bye. Oh, right. I should also order a chopper. Support helicopter. Bye, Commander. See you back at base. Sorry about letting you go and then shooting you. Target secured. I'll tell the client we sent the target to a place outside of heaven. So, that is... Your objective's complete. All the objectives Exfiltrate done. Exfiltrate out of the hot zone by chopper or on land. Don't hang around. And yeah, that location is far away enough from that um, outpost and the main base itself to be hurt to hear those gunshots. This guy, I think, on the other hand, might actually hear them. That's why I hold him up. And we should be long gone by the time he decides to, you know, think that he's not in any danger. But then again, given the fact that I just freed his commander and then shot him, yeah, I'd probably still be lying down as well. Oh, some of you guys might say... Um, sure, this is OSP mode, um, so I'm going in naked, but my base is fully upgraded, or pretty much fully upgraded, and the chances to extract him while he's injured are incredibly high. And, you know, hey, that's not fair. Yeah, I don't care. OSP never has anything to do with the state your base is in. And not to mention, if it did, and um, my chances were much lower extracting him when he's injured, then I'd just keep doing the mission until it worked. So... Get me the hell out of here, Pequod. And there you go, that's everything. Um, it's a shame that the other side objectives don't appear on the bonus uh, score, but then again, getting points for picking up a flower doesn't really seem right. But that is everything. So, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye! Yeah, so what's with this picture you're looking at? That'll get explained at the end. Spoiler, this isn't the total number of enemies I spawned. At least it's not all of them. How far can I run? Okay, we can run pretty far. Let's say hello to everybody. Oh god, the lag! Oh my god, is the, is the game really going to point out each and every one? Oh, crap! Damn. One scratch. One scratch is all it took. Sean, you did well. Sleep now, sweet prince. Let's hope you find your Cornetto in the afterlife.